Oh, I ain't even got the table straight. Yeah. Ha <laughs> ha, he's a pound fish. I said, good, no, I man, I ain't been out here the way we're going to fish in a year. Boy, that is a good one. Hello, viewers. It's hot today, going to be hot today. And something I ain't done in a while. Like I said, every time you see us, we're always pitching that live scope, always pitching and pitching, and that's fun. But you know, there comes a point in time when you just get tired of it. And now all summer long, it looks like we're gonna be on brush, at least on these clear water lakes. And uh, I just wanna go back to old school. Y'all see me do these videos before. <clears throat> and especially if you're taking the child fishing, the young and fishing, you cannot beat. In other words, they're not going to be able to pitch and do what they want to do. So we're doing this. Uh, if you look, I got my nine foot rods. We're tight lining over brush because this time of the year, especially on these clear water lakes, it's brush. I just got a number six hook right there. I got a little three eighths. I mean, this is a quarter inch egg sinker, my little fly reels. I love these things, they're so simple, they cheap. Nine foot rod, I just got four of these nine foot rods, just like I do. And here's my rod holder set up. These are Stanley Creek rod holders, you know, and uh, they're adjustable, but you don't even have to touch them this time of the year. <clears throat> so what we're gonna do, if I can find this brush pile, we're gonna try to get on top of it. Okay, I don't know if you can see it, but I do have my live scope. I've got it going, because it's the only sonar I got on the front. It's the best sonar that you can get. But we're coming up on the brush pile. No big secret, I got fish on top of the brush pile. And once I get on top of this brush pile, I'm just gonna put it on spotlight. And then, there we go. Let's see what we got. That's just a little butter bean. But when you're fishing brush, especially if you're taking a child fishing and stuff like that, and this time of the year on this lake especially, we're not gonna catch many of them big shirleys. But we can catch some pound fish. I'm using the same minnow again. And uh, I'm just going down about 10 to 12 foot. I'm going to let them come up too, and I ain't going to use the same minute he come off. Go figure it out. But like I said, we're going to get out here, you know, catch what we can for a couple hours. Because you know about 10 o'clock, you always heard us say, them jet skis come out and them drunks. Them drunks come out, then it's time to go home. And I'm going to try to sneak up on this brush pile again. It's 25 feet out. I don't know if you'll be able to see them rods, but I love to see my rods being bored. All right, now, I'm going to put the spot lock on. And we're pretty well just going to sit here and fish. And you've heard me say it time and time again that uh, always put your brush in. It makes it work just a little bit better for you. Makes you feel a little bit prouder when you do it. I see one bending. Now this might be a big Shirley here. Whoa, it's not a big Shirley. But it sucked it. And I'm using this. 
this is a piece of junk here. This is a little piece of junk. But we're using minnows, that's what we do. That's what I do this time of the year. And, and yeah, I could come out here and I could pitch to these things and pitch to these things, but I'm still, I'm an old time fisherman. And about everything you see now, online on YouTube and all, everybody is pitching brush. Oh, we got we got a good show going this week. We got a good show going this morning. And I'm not keeping any. I don't need any. Oh crap! I got hung up and broke my dad blame line. That was a big one. And that's another thing I should have told you, and I should have told myself. I ain't changed line on this stuff in over a year, and it's probably oh come on, it's probably rotten. Well, I know it's rotten because it's mono line. But I believe that was a big old one. This old Cumberlander says, I believe that was a magazine. We got a bleeder there. I hope he gets back in. But Eagles has got to eat too. Let me try to get this summer gun back in the water. And these are nine foot long rods. And right here, this is nine foot. I'm a foot out of the water. So I go 11, about like that, 12, 13 foot. Let me get this one back in. Then I got to retie one. It's showing plenty of fish on top of there. We got some junk biting too. But you can catch a decent fish. That wasn't any more showing to you. That was a pure piece of junk. A good fish for about in two more years. Oh, come on, baby. You could eat him if you were hungry. He's nine inch fish, but he ain't nothing. They'll keep him and they'll brag about him too. All right, come on, big boy. Let me get you back in the water. And this is exciting. I said, you bring some kids out here or people you just want to take a friend fishing and they not, they not familiar with what a live scope is. And you want them to have fun, set them on top of a brush pile. With four and nine foot rods. And I promise you, they'll have a ball. 
I'm really off of the brush just a little bit. It's out there at 15 feet. had time to get on it. I've been tying broke lines and everything like that. Let me check it and make sure. But it, it got hung up on the rod holder too. That didn't help matters none. Because I promise you, sometimes I can absolutely act stupid. I'm just going to put a couple of split shot on this one. I'm blind. I've oh, got it. But a lot of people ask me, you know, no, they don't really. They know how to tie them off. But uh, I do get them occasionally ask me. Oh, come on. What kind of knot that I do use, and I just use a double overhand. I, I, I run it through it. I go through once and I go through twice and I sort of slide it right on up toward the end, just like that. Tighten it up. And go with it. Whoa! My line's a death blame wrong. Whoa, that's a good one there. That's a big shirt. I did have my thing. There goes my saw. Not that I couldn't lift them up, but I'm telling you, my line's rotten. I ain't gonna lie to you. Oh, that's a good one, though. Because I got some rotten lines. Boy, that fish is warm. Hungry, too, because he sucked that son of a gun. Hmm, that ain't as big as old Drysdale catches, but that's a good one right there. Get back in the water. But you can take your friends, you can take your grandkids, you can take your kids out on a morning like this. And you know, they have that attention deficit, deficit disorder. Where if you ain't got them on fish, you ain't near the pro that you told them you was. And not all the little kids can do the live scope deal. Did you see that son of a gun right there? He put the squeeze on me. He didn't get it. But he tried, now trying to get back in the water. But it can be hard, I'm telling you. Brush pile fishing, and that's all you see anymore. How to find fish, how to find fish, how to find fish. And it ends it up. Most of them, when they find the fish, they're sitting on a brush pile. Oh, come on. They're good. Good, good, good. I didn't want to talk anyway. I'm busy in production. For some reason, you have to keep an eye out on these dead blank cameras. Here comes one. Look at that. See it? 
Boom! Hook up! Whoa there, boy. Hook up! I'm scared to pick up on him. I don't know if he's that big, but he sure was stout. That's even, whoa, that's a good one, boy. That's a good one. Oh, ho, ho. This is a big Shirley this time of the year. That's a 130. Maybe a little bit better. You going back. And this is a friend of mine's brush pile. He don't think I fish it, but I do. Now he's going to see it when I'm... He's going to see it. That's a little old brim. When he watches this video, he said, that son of a gun was on my dad lane brush pile. used to hear me talk about it all the time. I ain't got but one rod in the water. I used to talk about it all the time. And I still do it. Do your homework. Put your brush in. You'll feel a lot better. Because it still goes back to that 80-20 rule. 80% of the fishermen... Or fishing other people's brush piles, and 20% of the fishermen are doing all the work. And with modern technology and stuff like that, I mean, it's their fishing. Once you put it in, it's public water. And I used to didn't do it, but I do it now. If I find me a brush pile, I'm fishing that son of a gun. And if you come by, chances are you didn't put it in. I'll lie and say I put it in. That's pretty well. Whoa. Now, first time I think I'm back in the water. And I'm going to ease, ease up just a little bit further now. Fancy GPS, I think, is drifted back off with about 15 foot. We up to about 10. I got one bending down. I don't know if you can see that old rod bend, but most of the time they'll hook themselves. He's going to bite. He's on it now. I'm just about betting you. I told you so. Mm. Oh, come on. I don't know why that was so slack right there unless I'm hung up. I got closer to the brush. That's 14 ounces. That's a good fish. Now, if you wanted to have a fish fry, I mean, you get out on some of these brush piles in the summertime, you'll catch some lit ones. But this lake, you'll catch some nice ones. You ain't going to catch many, many monsters. But you can have a fish fry. Just about any time you want to have a fish fry, you can have a fish fry. Look at that rod bend. Hmm. This is a Facebook. No, it ain't. He just wild. So to say the Facebook picture right there. But it oh come on. 
There we go. But you can sit here. It'll probably slack off in a little bit after you catch them and they get gun shy. But if you ain't got but one brush pile, I promise you, you can sit that brush pile for several hours and your bike will slow down because they're spooky. But you can catch fish. See, I got another one biting. You can catch fish all day off a brush pile. Y'all don't want to see that little piece of junk. That was embarrassing right there. I may have to cut that one out. But if you look, I mean, we're sitting right on top of the brush right now. I'm trying to see. Well, it ain't gonna give me a time to see if I can see my jig. People say, stand away from it. Don't sit on top of a brush pile. I'm sitting right on top of that thing. This one here ain't done nothing in a while. I bet you it ain't got nothing on it. That's fishing on credit. You know, little hook, serve them a little weight. It's a basic setup. Before technology took over. Oh, come on. Let me get my rod in the water. Before technology took over fishing, you know, you rode up to a brush pile, you had it marked after these docks, you had it marked here, you had it marked there. And you drop your minnow down in there, and that's how you done. And a lot of times we did jig a little bit. We used to jig some hair jigs, but most of the time we dropped we dropped minnows down in on it. And I know plenty of people right now that used to do it that won't do this anymore. If they're not looking at that screen. They're not fishing. And I love it. I love to pitch to them suspended. But I literally hate to fish a brush pile with live scope. You just drop it down there and go with it. You know, this gives you a little bit of a imagination that you feel like I'm sitting on top of the brush. I know I got some brush. Hopefully I'll get a bite. But I'm sitting there trying to see if I can see. See, I can't even see my jigs. I ain't worried about seeing my jigs. I'm just worried about catching fish. That wasn't nothing. Like I said, you're not, you're not doing no casting. But you can sit here in an hour and catch enough table fare. We're catching more litmus now. We caught five or six pretty good fish off of here. And generally the first five, ten minutes you want to brush pile, you're gonna catch the biggest fish that that brush has got to offer. Stop it! You're gonna catch the biggest fish that that thing's got to offer. And then, you know, a smart one, a smart man, he'll just move right on to another brush. And generally I would do that, but I'm not out. I like to catch big fish, but I'm just pretty well. 
out here today just reminiscing about old times how good things used to be and we didn't even know it oh come on and you sit there and say, man, don't bite. I'm trying to get ready. But there, I mean, there's just that many biting. But now, see, we're catching a bunch of little ones now. And that's really what's going to happen. God, that son of a gun, every time I turn around, that was a good one. And guess what? No, he didn't break my line. I ain't got a cotton picking thing in the water. I ain't got a cotton picking thing in the water. I'm gonna try to get ready one more time. But just trying to show you, we could catch these things literally for hours like this. Going back, y'all. I'm going back. Just pull it out. No casting, no dropping. Just pull your line out. Take this little fly reel. Now, if you'll hear how much noise that trolling motor's making. Yes, it might spook them, but I'm still going to fish it. I tell a lot of people when you're fishing like this, they can tell you this and they can tell you this, you need to do this, you need to do that. And maybe that's true. But honestly, if you have fun doing this, do it. You know, nobody can talk, you know, tell you any different. But I can promise you, you take an amateur or somebody out here that don't do a whole lot of fishing and you want them to have fun, do this right here. Put them on some brush. That was dragging across. Brush file, I think. Uh oh. Uh oh. Look at that. You see that? Look at that. Oh, come on. Got another good one. And he sucked it, but he come out. That fish right there close, 140. That's a good fish right there. I don't know how many fish we done caught this morning, but I know we ain't been fishing much over an hour. But I can't, you know, I could do this and video for 30 dad blame more minutes, you know, and do this and do that. Folks, I gotta tell you, like I said, we could do this and do this forever and ever. All morning long and catch fish. But I ain't gonna do that. We just down here fishing. But just remember to set up. 
you know. Nine foot rods, some use eight, some use ten. Just set them right there in front of the boat and sit right on top of the brush pile. But if I can help you, just remember, I'm Ed Duke. You can catch me at www.southerncrappyrods.com and I will uh, sell you some of these rods, some of these reels. I'll fix you right up with it. But until then, take your kids fishing. And if you find somebody's brush pile, jump on that thing and fish it. I'll catch you on the flip.